It is a Monday, June 11th. Welcome to Sam Livecast. Uh, Monday, June 11th, also known as National Corn on the Cob Day. Who makes up this stuff? I don't know. We were trying to figure that out earlier. Do you? I don't Are know. Are you making it up? I am not making this up. Mm-hmm. And as Addy Corn mm-hmm. also points it out, it's National German Chocolate Cheese. Well, I don't know if it's National German Chocolate Cheesecake Day, but it's that German sounds, Chocolate Cheesecake Day. That sounds a little specific. Doesn't it? Well, it is a specific type of cake. That's very specific. It so. would be like saying uh, na- it, uh, Angel Strawberry Shortcake Day. You Nash- ever had German chocolate cake? Addie put a picture on uh, Facebook. Recently? Uh-huh. or Yeah, 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 yeah. That's Just so a little weird. while ago. I don't have any. I can't yeah. see that. You don't have that? No. I, don't, I never saw that. Wait that, a sec. Wait a sec. Was that from you know when timeline skips sec. like a month or two? Was that what you're looking at? No, 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 no. That was today. I hate timeline. You're making up stuff. I'm not, why would I make this stuff up? I don't know. I've still not been uh, there it is. over to timeline. Uh, oh, maybe it's not a picture. Though I thought she put something to it. Addie Occupy Corn. It's also National German Chocolate Cake Day. Did I say cheesecake? Yes, yes you did. that's not right. Yeah, I, I mean, like, that's, a, that's a really cool German cake, chocolate cake day. German, so n- not just German chocolate. L- go t- get a picture. German chocolate cake has is it is it coconut? Yeah. Yep. That's in the that weird icing. Frosting. It's a weird frosting thing. And what is the difference between frosting and icing? Oh, geez. Is there a technical I, difference? Uh, I'm. We're the wrong people to ask. I know. I hate them both like uh-huh. the devil. Frosting has egg and i don't know i don't know well you're making me google a lot of things real fast today. yeah sorry <laughs> about that uh while you're googling this uh the lovely kelly is with us tonight hello lovely kelly hi there you go <laughs> look just straight ahead you'll be fine point that microphone <laughs> more at you thank all you right, and you're right. looking and you're looking right here okay why do you why can you not do this look there uh, uh, there well, you go I you look like, like talking to no you look all over the place i'd like to talk to you okay and i'll talk to you okay that works so we, yes you found the difference? Icing is generally thinner and glossier, while frosting is a thick, fluffy mixture such as buttercream. Mm. They're both used to coat the outside of the cake. They're both effing disgusting. I hate them mm. both. In the back, we have Lynn mm-hmm. on the left, Max on the right. Mm-hmm. Boys, everybody good? Yep. Everybody have a good weekend? I just want to point something out. I think it's a little funny that we have crew members shouting at the host during the countdown of the show, leave my mom out of this. What does that mean? Oh, what? Oh, that's, well, it's because I called his mom into it. You have to do that. By the way, Max has, I don't want to do it, but we've seen Max's new dog. Mm-hmm. It's a pocket beagle mm-hmm. named Sonny, or as Max likes to call him, Sun Sun. Oh, shut up. <laughs> oh, my God. Here's what I heard Max say to Kelly just shortly before we went live tonight. Oh, God. He might wake up during the show and have to go pee-pee. <laughs> <laughs> so can you take him out? Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> that might be true. <laughs> <laughs> was true. Oh, he might. Oh, yes. Well, it was true that you said that. But, mm-hmm. but uh, it's popsicle season. Nobody move. We won't. What the? It's popsicle season. As Lynn pointed out, we have a, an, a, a big stock of otter pops. We're a big otter pop family. Mm-hmm. And who doesn't? Not everybody. Who, who um, doesn't like otter pops? All the men in this family... Adore the Otter Pops, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, it's okay, dude. I was going to... Anyway. Uh, we have an adult Otter Pop tonight for us all. What? I oh, these oh. At, I found these at, uh, at uh, BevMo. They're Margarita Pops. Nice. What do you think? Kelly, do you want one? Do you want half of one? I'll taste that one. You want this whole one? I'll taste half. It'll taste half. Everybody want half or a whole? I'll try. Let's it's go. It's gonna go be really half. sweet. Well, that's then. There's alcohol in them too. Did they have like other flavors? No, or was they that just it? had this. Six point seven percent alcohol, so it's like having a beer. A strong beer. I guess six point seven is not too right. strong. Here you go, Lynn. Two for you guys. One for Kelly. You go, sweetheart. You. One for me. Sorry, oh nothing gosh. on camera. Hmm. You didn't need to follow that. <laughs> I mean, honestly, I'm okay with that. Okay, let's go try them. Go on, go on. We'll try them at the same time. They're definitely mushier than than regular uh, 
popsicle things because of the alcohol, I guess. You could technically make any flavor yeah. drink. I do a rum thing. A I do a little rum a lime thing. Okay, ready? Everybody try. Oh my god. Whoa. That's pretty good. I didn't wait. That's actually really good. I thought it was gonna be like really sweet, but hey, this kind of tastes like <coughs> a margarita. <coughs> it tastes, it like tastes like a margarita. Like it tastes like your margaritas, kind of. Yeah, mm. it actually does. It's really good. Wow. Interesting. I'm surprised. I am too. This is. I yeah. thought it was gonna be really gross. No, but it's like strong. I mean, it's a good drink. It's actually not bad. It's pretty mm. good. And <laughs> not for children. I really it. thought it would be terrible. It's not. That's like kind of dangerous, though. Think about how many of those things you could slam in one hour and not realize that you're drinking like a, you know, right, or like a beer. Yeah. Well, but wait, there's a hundred. So I, I don't have the. Uh, the who's got who's got the left the right side of this? I don't. Max is the right um, side. Somebody I think read I it do. to me, because well, it it'll tell you how much how much is in here. I wait. have one. Oh, how six point, oh, 100 milliliters. But what is that? 100 milliliters? Is that what you're looking for? A pint is what, like six something? Like 700? No, a cup is 500, right? A pint. A pint. Wait a sec. Sorry, I got to look. <laughs> All right, so two cups. Uh, 250 mils is one cup. Okay. So it's... Uh, I'm trying to think what an average beer is. One cup. It's a half a cup in one of these. Mm. So it's a half a cup, which is close to a bottle of beer is 12 ounces. I can't do that math. I know. That's what I'm excited I can't that do too. that math. I'm trying to figure out what the equivalent is. Hey, don't look at me. Wait, are there it's nine like ounces in a beer or eating, eating one of these is the equivalent of three quarters of a beer, of a strong beer. Wait, okay. Three quarters? So it's not. Yeah. So how many milliliters in a beer? <laughs> Our fans are looking at us like we're such idiots right now. What? Somebody's got the answer on there. Well, here's the deal. A cup is 250 mils. Did you get that? Okay, there's 354.88 milliliters in 12 fluid ounces. So this is a third of a beer. Huh? It is? You said there's 110 something, right? 100 milliliters, right? I thought this 500 mil thing was two no, cups. No, I, I said, I said it's 100 milliliters. Yeah. Okay, my this head bar. hurts. Okay, this bar is Can 100 milliliters. <laughs> a beer has 300 something milliliters, okay? So it's about a third of a beer. Mm -hmm. There you go. It's Under good, a third, yeah. It's really good. I got to stop eating this loud like that. I'm sorry. I apologize. No. <laughs> Freezeability.com. Um, check this out. All right, so it's National, National Corn and the Cob Day. We're gonna do we're gonna do Mexican street corn with this mm. stuff up front, right? Oh yeah, it'll be really good. I saw this thing on the internet, uh, an older man showing how to shuck uh, an ear of corn perfectly, no problems whatsoever. All of the husky crap comes off. All of the gross silk, no problem whatsoever. I'm gonna do it right now and see if it works. You can stay there. Nobody has to get up. Okay. Are you sure? Yeah. It's watch, because I'll be back in my chair in, in one minute. So, is there like a shucking tool? Wait, I thought the shucking was for the oysters, and now you're using it for no. It's both it's shucking your coin. So here's what you do: you start by cutting. It's like cleaning, basically, right? You start by cutting off the bottom, so you have this. Uh huh. Right. Okay. Oops. <laughs> there we go. Okay. You just cut the the butt end off. And now for one ear of corn, you put it in the microwave for four minutes, two ears of corn, eight minutes. That's it. Kitchen timer, eight minutes. Start. Oh, sorry. Wrong thing. Eight minutes. There we go. Wait, you see what happens at the end of eight minutes. And if it works. And it doesn't cook the corn? Like the, No, it will cook it. Mm -hmm. It will cook it, but it will also make it simply shuckable. Okay, and so is this part of, is this like the first step in this guy's method for shucking the corn? That's the only step in the guy's method. Okay, so this is something that you've known beforehand. Yeah. You want to eat corn, you do that, and then it comes, I'll show you what happens at the end. Um, I've actually been told that you, it's not healthy to just eat corn raw right off the cob 
I didn't know that. Why? I, Why could I, that I'm be not sure if that's true because I really, I really liked it. I liked it when I've done that before. Where are you, where are you eating raw corn? I don't know. Sometimes I've just bought a new corn and then just wanted to dig into it. I'm really so like hungry corn. in the car on the I way really home. I really like corn. You no, just not on the way it? home. <laughs> I really like fresh corn. The corn salad. Ooh, let's pull up a picture of that. The corn salad. I think we've done that on the The roasted corn salad. Oh, speaking of roasted corn salad. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Jesus, it would be really convenient to have this conversation with mom in the room. Why? But she's out walking your little dog because he's got to go to the bathroom. Don't blame him. He's a puppy. I know. At some point, though, it's not going to be convenient for you to bring the child here. Well, I can leave him sometime. Corn here salad. There you go. Okay. How good is that? Look. That's delicious. Oh, God. He's in the bush and he won't come out. That's okay. what mom just came out. All right. Said. See. He's okay. He'll be. This, he'll no, come she's out got, eventually. He'll come out. <laughs> so should she just sit down and continue on with the show? Is that what she should do? <laughs> he'll come out in a minute. What do you want me to do? What, what can I do? This right is now? not the dog cast. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, is it? he'll stay at home from now on. He's getting, uh, oh, he's cute, but I, I knew at some so point he was going to grow up and then this is going to happen. <laughs> oh, okay, let me ask this question. Uh huh. And I had a picture of this uh -huh. that's important that I show. Nobody, don't do anything with my computer yet. Let's see if I can find this. Crap. No, I'm not going to be able to find it. What are you pulling? Oh, my out? computer is so slow. Stupidly slow right this minute. It happens. You yeah. just got to give it some TLC. Lynn went to the fair this weekend. Was it this weekend? Yeah. Speaking of me, someone just commented on me on Facebook. What did they say about you? I thought oh. it was pretty funny. Diana said, Lynn, my son's pediatrician called him a baby giant today. I laughed out loud and thought of you. <laughs> Diane, I hope your son actually turns into a, a real giant one. Well, I have a question. It's fun being tall. You're, you're six, five. three, five. Yeah, don't short me too. Okay. Mm. okay. You're six, five. Mm -hmm. How old were you when you were like 10? How old I was? How, I? how tall were you when you were 10? 10 is what? Uh, like fourth grade, right? Something like that. I was always pretty tall. I, okay. I was always the tallest <laughs> kid in my thing. class. Let's put it that way. So um, I'm thinking like, by the time I was in sixth grade, I was already six feet tall. What? I was pretty tall. Shit, you a were? six foot sixth grader? Yeah, a six foot sixth grader. I wasn't six six in the sixth grade. Obviously, I was, yeah. yeah. I was <laughs> close. I was like five, ten, six feet. I was pretty close. Mm -hmm. So I played basketball in junior high and it worked out quite well. Yeah. Probably dominated. Maybe it wasn't six feet. It was like five ten. I don't remember when I hit six feet, but it was pretty exciting. I only remember the day where I passed my sister up, and I was so excited because. And what's the age difference between you and your sister? We're only like a year and a half different, but I was always shorter. Like you know, like your mom's was like, "Oh, look how tall you are." I'm like, "So not tall, right. my sister." And this is mm -hmm. when I was like, I don't know, like six. <laughs> <laughs> okay, were you? Um, we got that picture. It's fine. You got it? Yeah, yeah, Okay, yeah. let's just take this picture. Take this picture. Everybody look at it for a second, then I'm going to ask you a question. <clears throat> yes. Max, Lynn, don't answer. Okay. Max, what are those people doing? Um, it, it looks like just a bunch of campers. No, no, no. Just literally, what are they doing? Standing in line. Thank you. Yeah. Lynn, what are those people doing? Uh, and, and you can answer the same thing if that's what you see. Yeah, standing in line. Thank you. I would say they were also standing in line. And yet, when I was in New York last week shooting, uh -huh. three separate times in a situation like that, it was referred to as standing online. What? And I've never heard that before. What? From who? For people in New York, Standing I was at, I was at a a, a, super, a a drug store buying Fiji water. Mm -hmm. Fiji water that in my in the store were two of the you know the giant ones. Yeah, two for three bucks. My hotel, forty five seconds around the corner in the room, one for nine dollars. <laughs> yeah, that's and that first night right. it was like midnight and I was just parched. I and couldn't. Went I'm not going to go stick my my mouth under the tap. <laughs> I grabbed the nine dollar room water. I had to have water, and I love feed your water is my favorite water. Wow, dude, you've grown accustomed after getting. But the next delivered. day, the next day, I said to myself, I better not do that anymore. 
That's the stupid move. Mm. But so standing, standing, waiting to pay for my Fiji waters in the store, in the Dwayne Reed, which is like a Rite Aid, the guy said, next online. And I went, what? Next online? And we were getting, uh, we were getting burgers at Shake Shack. Mm. Next online. Next online. You know what I found out? What I found online, no, no pun intended. Yeah. But um, this guy was <laughs> debating standing in line and standing online. And he says, many commenters have pointed out that it seems to come up a lot in New York and New England. Is and he was just watching 2001 A Space Odyssey by Stanley Kubrick. Yes. And he noticed online being used. And he remembered that Kubrick is from New York. But that movie was about Brits. Well, I mean. Wasn't he, that, that was in London, he, right? He was probably, you know involved in the screenplay writing. And so he probably was like, who the heck uses standing in line? Let's do standing online. I don't know. I See, I would argue that they would use the vernacular of the place where the movie was being presumably from. Yeah. It, so I'd like to know, what do people say? I, just reply back, say in or on, and just put a W or an E, West Coast, East Coast. Standing online just doesn't make It doesn't make, make sense, sense to me, does it? I mean, on, maybe it's like I, I I don't even know. Leo on Facebook says definitely a New York thing. It is just New York. Yeah, I can't believe that. Oh, and you spelled definitely wrong, Leo. Sorry to call you. <laughs> we, got, we got 55 <laughs> seconds left of this corn. Wait, do you see what happens here? I feel like the corn should be. Oh, I got to put this on. I got to put this on too. Oh, so okay. I'm so just going to jump up. Okay, so here's what I have. I have completely shucked ears of corn. Uh -huh. They're just going on the grill. Nothing fancier than that. Okay. The grill's hot. Super hot. The corn smells good in the micro, though. Okay, I'm about to take it out. You see that sitting there? It's nice. Everybody's happy with that? Yeah, perfect. It's all that has to happen. Let me just turn it down a little bit. So you're just so softening low. it up, correct? No, but I'm getting color on it, too. Yes, softening it up. Okay. But also getting color on it, too. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now pay attention to this. 13 seconds left. The guy in the video that I watched used an of glove, which I do not own. What's, what's an of glove? I'm kind of. What's an of glove? Yes. Did you ask that too, Lynn? I uh, yeah. I have no it's idea. It's a. It's like is. a glove. It's like a heat glove that you use to oh. put things in and out of the oven, grab trays and stuff. Oh, got but it. I don't own one, so I'm not so going to do it. Like an oven mitt, kind of. Yeah. Yes, it's <laughs> like an oven mitt, but it's a particular type that's that was um, uh, sold like on late night TV. Oh. Okay, so now what you're supposed to do, right? Steaming hot. You're supposed to grab it at this top, shuck this end with the silk, and do this. I don't know if this is going to work. Oh, okay. Worked in the guy's stupid video. Uh-oh. Huh? Oh, what? What? No way. Look at that. No silk. There's one. One. Wow. Want to see that again? Yes. Yeah. That was pretty cool. Kelly? You're not paying attention to this at all, are you? Oh, I looked at that. No, you have no idea. That's unbelievable. Ready? I saw it squeeze out. Hold that's on. unbelievable. No, oh, that's I, what Jesus. Uh, <laughs> uh -oh. I make such a mess when I have to do that. Uh oh, it's I know. Other. Uh -oh. Mm. S -s Still. No, I love that. <laughs> nice. Nice. Well, see, there's a couple here, but oh crap! That was oh crap! Hot. Oh crap! So, could you serve it. that on a plate? Yeah, and what would you do with this now? Well, the the obvious thing to do with this would be. Put butter on and eat it. You got it, man. Oh God, really? Let's Dad? see if it's cooked. You just condoned. I just condoned butter what? on corn? corn. You hate that. No, I don't. I don't hate butter on corn. I don't. I've never done. We've never done that in this household. No, 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 no. Here's what you need. You need butter. Wait. And one other thing. What's it gonna be? Salt. That's right. Oh. All right. Now we've got a crying dog in the house. Oh my goodness. Welcome to your last live cast, Sonny. Sun, welcome to your last live cast, Sun Sun. And now, and now we don't have anybody in the back. <laughs> oh, why is he coming out here? <laughs> Crap. Sit down, Sonny. Oh. <laughs> oh wow! Oh my God, that was really screwed up. Fire corn. No, you know what else it needs? It must be burning. It's burning. Wow. But you know what? 
This is the first time I've eaten corn on the cob in a long time. And let me tell you something. It's good. Unbelievably hot. Mm. I can't believe how hot that is. It's smoking <laughs> hot. Is I'm it sorry, soft? this is not good TV, but I could stand here. It's still got definite uh, firmness to it, which is better than it being completely soft. You've got some corn on your face, bro. <laughs> I do? Yes. You're not the kind of guy that does the whole typewriter thing, right? Where you no, eat little I can't bits do of that. corn. I do okay. that. I gotta leave that. Oh my gosh. Holy smoke, is that good? All right, just let me check here for one second. Let me see what we're doing out here. Hey, Sonny went to the bathroom outside, Mom? Yeah. Did he poop? Okay, really? Yeah. <laughs> this is what we're doing now? Is this what the show is? Sorry. Mr. Son hasn't taken care of all his business. That now way. it's the Mr. Mr. It's the poop cast. All right, in food news, can we get back to food and get yes, away from the dog yes, for a second? Yes, absolutely. Jab, here's the headline. I'll wait till Lynn sits down. He'll appreciate this. Okay. And then I'm going to look, I'm going to show you some shoes I have to take back. On your computer? On your no, computer? They're right here on the floor box. Oh, so okay. <laughs> Headline uh, from uh, just the end of last month. Japanese man cooks and serves own genitals. What? I saw this. There you go. A I Japanese artist cooked his own genitals and served them to five paying diners in Tokyo to cover the medical costs in a bizarre act to raise awareness about sexual minorities. Well, he's definitely a sexual minority now. How does that... I don't get it. it seems Mayo Sugiyama had his penis and testicles surgically removed in March and kept them frozen for two months before dishing them out, seasoned and braised, to customers at an event hall May 13th. And people actually... Diners paid 20,000 yen, which sounds like a lot, $250 for a plate with a portion of genitals. <sighs> The meal came complete with mushrooms and a parsley garnish. <laughs> oh my god. I don't goodness. think this is food news. I think this is just weird to just news. That's not had the garnish. The weirdest news I've ever heard in my life. They do some weird things in Japan. Uh the meal oh well it's okay because the meal was prepared on the under the supervision of a certified cook. And diners were required to sign a waiver indemnifying Sugiyama and the event organizers. In May 18th, tweets, the artist said steps were taken so that the act met all relevant laws. What fucking relevant laws could pertain to ser cooking and serving your own dick and balls? Well, they've got to have, like... Now, what relevant laws? Do they have, like, cannibalism laws? I mean... I don't know. You probably... It's probably illegal to fillet Oh, here it is. Including meat. a ban on organ sales. So go, he yeah. did... Uh, uh, processing of medical waste and even food sanitation requirements. I received questions from some men and women asking, will there be a next time? No, I've got nothing left. <laughs> Wait, it was only a portion though, right? It had to have been. It said he had his penis and testicles surgically removed and then served those up to the people. Jeez. He considers himself asexual. Okay, please. I can't, I can't go oh, on. Is, is that his sexual minority? And he's, an he's asexual? asexual. And in related news... <laughs> Oh my God! Where Can is you be this? Where and is this? Asexual? in Miami? This in in Miami in related news in Miami. Uh, it was a scene as creepy as a Hannibal Lecter movie. One man shot to death by Miami police, and another fighting for his life after he was attacked and his face allegedly half eaten by a naked man on the MacArthur Causeway off ramp Saturday. Yeah, this story weird. Florida, right? Yeah, Miami, Only Florida. in Florida. <laughs> Sorry, to any Florida, uh, Florida Please. residents out there. I got to go over here to this. <laughs> so what my goal is is here. Let me just show you. This is what I'm trying to do. Mm -hmm. Can you see that? Uh, not really. I no. mean, no. Okay, Lynn, mm -hmm. if you just keep that camera on me out there, got you it. won't have to get up again. So there you go. That's what I'm trying to do. I'd like a little bit of this all the way around. It softens it really nicely, and the little charred bits add just a stupid amount of flavor. Oh! Oh, jeez. Uh -oh. Anybody see that? Did you catch it? No, I didn't catch it. <laughs> no. 
I'm not that, I wasn't expecting that to happen. Okay, there we go. All right, we're just gonna let that continue. That color came on there pretty fast. It's like, well, the grill's pretty hot. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's a pretty hot grill, so. She sure is. <laughs> <sighs> Kelly, it didn't, it was even foolish. That was foolish. <laughs> it didn't even make sense. <laughs> I was in Costco sat Saturday, what, Sunday night? Sunday night, we had a lacrosse party here. Was it lacrosse? Mm -hmm. Bunch of kids from, uh, seven kids, 14 parents, and four coaches from Zach's lacrosse team. He actually goes, was it lacrosse? I had to forget. Yeah. He told me you guys had a pretty busy weekend. We did. It's a lot of parties and a lot of hosting and stuff. Friday. Mm -hmm. oh, I, Dad was traveling. Friday night, Friday, I was in San Francisco to meet with the uh, grocery outlet people which i'll be doing something with and we'll be chatting about here friday night there was a party at, at mom's salon wounded warriors benefit oh you flew back and then went to a party yep it was fun nice. saturday saturday i was at the uh uh standard pacific uh belisario home development at stonebridge mm -hmm. cooking from two to four for about 150 people so much fun so much fun saturday night we went to a uh like a graduation party for a bunch of the boys and then sunday we had this party for like 25 people here check this out so 25 people here's what i make two whole beef tenderloins right yeah. two whole salmon fillets i don't know five pounds of little red baby potatoes roasted in the oven with rosemary olive oil garlic feta and feta when oh, they came out those are we haven't done those on the show no they're really good maybe That's, we'll wait till it gets a little like colder yeah it's kind of like a fall dish i did um eight ears of corn for a roasted corn salad that we just looked at pictures of and i made a huge mexican caesar salad and um Mom ceviche. made a ton of ceviche, tons. tons of ceviche beforehand. And I did that blue cheese, um, red pepper, red pepper bruschetta and hot peaches on grilled pound cake for dessert. Yeah. Hot peaches. Ask me how much was left. That was a lot of food. There had to have been zero, been. nothing that, left, nothing. Wow. Nothing did, left. And wait, we almost, we basically did have an a FHB. Yeah. I ate like, I had only bites. Yeah of a little bit of meat at the very end, the last couple of little end pieces. And I don't think I ate either. That were too, that were too, you know, the ends get done too much. I don't like them like that, but I, I like was the starving. Ends. You like your steak a little more rare than I do. I, I like do. those end pieces. Anyway, I'm at Costco. Sat Sunday, terrible time to go to Costco. Yeah. And they're sampling like crazy. And the people, it's like they've never eaten before. It's just the thoughts, the idea that they're getting free food. It's unbelievable to me how they just flock to those little stations. <laughs> and the people that, there's some people that just like this. They walk up, the things on the plate, they're like, thank you. And they take it and they walk away. And then there's the other people that fake everything that's going on at the moment. They're like, oh, <laughs> oh. I know, it's such, oh, well, What I are guess, these? Uh, what is this? It's from a jar. It is. <laughs> I didn't know they came from a jar. Really? And what's that on this? It's a little salsa you serve with it. Well, how interesting. Well, I can have one. Larry, we can have one. Like, really? Give me a fucking break. I can't. It's incredible. It, and then the conversation. Oh, and how much are they? And they're looking at the packaging. Oh, and you have these here for sale today, do you? It's, Oh, a three pack is Larry. A three pack is only fourteen ninety. We should we should get some of these. And then you know what happens? They're frozen, and then they are in the underwear aisle twenty minutes later. <laughs> They've walked around the store and gotten out of sight from those people, and dropped them off where they don't want them, which is terrible. Me, I feel guilty not buying if I sample, so I don't sample. Oh I refuse to eat anything. That is so funny. Refuse to eat anything. And I was, hold on. Let me just turn my corn a little bit. So, I, the chili, I, have we done chili lime corn? Yes. 
When I was cooking that recipe, I would always, um, you always would tell me that I should throw it on the grill for like 45 minutes before to soften it up. Well, it really depends. It really depends how long and how hot your grill is. I had that thing smoking hot, and, and yeah. it, but the chili lime corn I like a little darker than this. Yeah. So it's going to take a little bit more time. Anyway, as I was thinking about the, the Costco thing, I'm just butting around on my computer, and I come across somebody that writes this in a blog about about uh, Costco. They write, think about it this way. Thousands of Costco shoppers per day, all using the same carts. And the carts probably only get cleaned once a month. Most of the samples are finger food. And after eating their finger licking wedge of cheese or taquito or whatnot, oh. most people plant their hands back on the cart handles Boom, without washing their fingers. Wow. On a hot day, factor in palm sweat. <laughs> oh, <laughs> God. oh my God, isn't that a horrifying thought? I'm gonna oh. travel to Costco. I know that the supermarkets have those With wipes gloves. now. Oh yeah. Which until I, until I read that, I didn't even consider using. Uh, no. Oh wait, what do you mean? We've talked on the live cast about hand uh, sanitation in grocery stores. I know, but it didn't really bother me that much until I read this. Oh, I'm, I'm obsessively cleaning the cart and everything in my hands when I get there and I do that. I mean, it's a, such a necessary thing. You know, thing. I'm just going to play devil's advocate. Yeah. I don't, and I'm still alive. I know, you yeah, know, I mean, so there is that. Unfortunately, it's in my head now. I, I know, it's an, it's. A, I think it's a head thing too, but like, you know, whenever I do gas station pumps, I always put Purell on the end, and that's like kind of the only time I think about it. I never, gas ever station. do. You Purell because of the gas handle or no, the, the smell pump, yeah. of the gas? What is it that you don't want? No, the the germs on the the handle. And a grocery cart doesn't bother you? Yeah, well, that's the thing. It's like it never. I don't. You're do right. It never. I, I it never entered my head that people do this at Costco yeah. and they put their hands back. I mean, yeah, when you put it that can, way, okay, it sounds you, gross. No, can but you, see, no, but see, I don't. To me, it's not. Just, it's not the sample, like the finger foods, that makes it bad. It's it's just the sheer amount of hands that are going to be on that thing uh, in a given day. I think I talked about this once. I was in a supermarket that in their their dairy section, they were sampling cheese. Mm -hmm. And by sampling, I meant that they had a bunch of little squares of cheese all mounded up oh, on yeah, a plate this. with a plastic cover over the top mm -hmm. and like a mouse hole, right? <laughs> so things couldn't fall on the cheese, like dust from the store or debris or whatever. The dome. The dome. Plastic but to dome. get a piece of cheese, like a mouse, you have to reach your hand into this thing. And right beside the thing are toothpicks. And I watched a guy one day, his hand goes right past the toothpicks into the dome of cheese. And imagine these are pieces of cheese. He does this. He's now trying to sc scrumble up a bunch into his hand, right? Ew. He doesn't want one. He's not just going to touch that one piece and pull it out. He's trying to grab as many as he can in his hands. And of course, he's touching a whole bunch of other ones and they're falling off to the side. He gets them and he does this. No, oh, Sam, it's so gross. Puts I them in his mouth. It. Wait, it gets worse. And then the hand with the fingers in the mouth back into the cheese <laughs> no. trap, uh. bundling up more pieces in into his mouth. And you know, the funny thing is I still go sample cheese. At I would, stores. dude, I oh. would after that day completely no. stop me exactly. from eating anything See, under that. You describe it's one thing and then just me having in my head is another thing, but it like doesn't phase me. I don't really Would care. you do this? How would about you? in a, wait, how, sorry, how about in a bathroom? Do you touch it? Will you, like when you're exiting a bathroom, will you touch the doorknob on the inside of the door? Yes, to, to with a paper out? with a paper towel oh, in I'm my talking, hand. No, I'm talking about bare hands. No, I use paper towel. Ugh. I use paper towel. I w I almost sometimes won't even do paper towel. I will just kick it. You'll just lock yourself and you're like, no, I'm not. Gonna. Yeah, right. If you, I, if you can, some I doors don't open that way. I, I swear to God on my life, I've sat there and waited at the door for somebody to come and open no, it, so you I could haven't. just slide out. Really? I swear to God. Whoa. He has to protect his germs for Mr. Sun, okay? He's right here, by the way. <laughs> he needs to make this sure he doesn't This is the ultimate you know what? first world play. problems I've ever That's heard. That's great. <laughs> Mom says you have to protect your germs from Mr. Sun. That looks a and you... sketchy, Max. Wait. <laughs> Mom yeah. says, go back to the shot of you, Max. Mm -hmm. Mom says you have to protect your germs from for, from Mr. Sun. I do. Stop that for a second. Sorry, okay, put I the fucking camera on Listen, you. Listen, I've got to put it back. 
<laughs> trying to make a point. I want to see you. Oh my god. Let me see you. Thank you. And now the camera's all off. Yeah. We'll just put up a okay. bad shot. You went Go right it. back to I said put it back. You go right back to your the dog again. I can't hold a camera like this and work everything while. Okay, a here's dog the in my point life. I'm trying to make. Yes. Which is now lost. Go. Mom says uh -huh. he has to clean his hands from to protect Mr. Sun, and you point right down to your dick. Uh -oh. Nobody saw a dog on your lap. That whole thing looked uh -oh, I bizarre and sketchy that we will try and take out of context okay. and put on uh -huh. a special moment just for you. We don't edit this show, by the way. We definitely don't. No, not edit. Just a special clip by itself. Is it corn time yet? No. <laughs> don't try and change the subject. So wait, okay, you call the Mexican street corn, right? Yeah. Why don't you elaborate on why it's called that? Because I'm sure we have many viewers who don't live anywhere near Mexico and wouldn't really understand that. Okay, so when we went to Cabo, I don't know how many years ago. How old were they, Kel? Uh, uh, eight years ago. We go to Cabo maybe eight years ago. No, Zach was... No, uh, if Max was going to... Senior year. So what does that make it then? Do that math. Senior year of high school? You've been out of? All oh, right. You've yeah, it was about seven years ago then. Yeah. Okay. Good. That was good Good. Good work there, math. Yeah. Max. Yeah. So we're walking around the streets in Cabo. And it's me and Jordan and mm, Kelly and Max and Zach. And Jordan and I are a store to a head. And... At some point, we're walking around, and I see them. They drive these bicycles with big carriers on the front. And in the carrier is like some system that heats the corn. And then the key is they take the corn out, and they put mayonnaise on it, and the chili powder, and the cheese and stuff. And I go, I want that corn really bad. Kelly's like, the mayonnaise is warm. <laughs> It's Mexico, you're gonna get sick. And she, she gets legitimately mad at me over this. And it works, and I stay away from it for like a block. But I keep seeing the dude, and I keep seeing them dishing it out, and people eating it, and it's looking like the best effing thing you've ever seen in your life. So finally, Jordan and I, we can't handle it anymore. We pull the guy over, and we order two ears of it. And I'm telling you. Does it kind of look like it's that? It's un believable there it is it's a bicycle with the big carrier thing on the front that's exactly what it is you know i gotta admit man and warm mayonnaise freaks me out too not just in mexico just in general <laughs> no i know but you know what then so we're standing there like this just about to eat the corn uh, just as we bite into it kelly comes out of a store about five doors <laughs> down and just yell starts she just starts yelling max she became nana like that <sighs> Kelly's mom can yell up a freaking storm. Oh, I was say she, she like could slapped it. Anybody. It would take wallpaper off of a wall. It'd be so scared. It would just shrink all the way down and I hide. I was in protection mode. I'm, I'm fine. Are you going to do that thing, mom, when uh, you're older, where with the waitresses? Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> I'm telling Nana it you're works. making fun of her. <laughs> no, we love you, Nana. All right, so we know that mom and I have been walking, right? Mm -hmm. We've been doing our four miles a day. Yep. Took, oh. the week, took, took, took the weekend off. There was way too much going on. And had to get up way too early and do too many things. But Friday, was it Friday? Mm -hmm. Thursday, I went out. And I, I've been wearing these, these running shoes that are not any good anymore. They're old. And I don't think I should be wearing them anymore. My shins hurt and the whole thing's going bad. So I said, I'm going to go get a good pair. So I go and I find a pair. And while I'm there, I know Kelly's wearing an old pair too. I'm going to get her some. I know her size. I call her, I go, I'm going to get you she these. And she goes, well, what if, what if they don't fit me? I go, well, then you'll take them back. But if they do fit you, then you and I can just wear them you know, tomorrow morning. We'll have them ready to go. So I bring them home. The second they come out of the box, she's like this. These are the ugliest shoes I've ever seen. I go, well, what about the ones for you? She goes, yep, yeah, you really didn't do a very good job on these. So here's Kells. And I don't know if you're going to think these are what so brand terrible. Are they? They're Brooks. Oh, I love Brooks. Their shoes are ugly. <laughs> Is that an ugly shoe? Yeah. You bought those? Is it an it's ugly like shoe? It's like I just want something low key, <laughs> understated. She goes, can you get me a plain shoe? That I go, well, <laughs> the one I think you should have is 
I don't think they make it plain. That looks like uh, something that like a girl that's all done up to go to the gym <laughs> would wear. Right. Well, needless to say. And you bought. You, oh, what are you? I know. Matching? Could and that they're not be matching. The what most is embarrassing wrong? They're not matching. Ever? Mine you are should, red you and black. You should have seen my face. She was furious. Furious. <laughs> are they that terrible? Sam, they're horrible, they're and they horrible. match. And they were a fortune. That's ridiculous. You guys would be so embarrassing walking around in oh those. God. Totally. Well, guess what? They're and going back. You know what? He didn't get it at all. <laughs> it's so weird to me. I don't know what. Here's happened all I'm to thinking. Him. I'm telling you, I put this thing on and I fell in love with it. I haven't had a really good shoe on my foot, and at that moment, I didn't care. I didn't care what it looked like. All I wanted was the shoe that I put on that I was absolutely in love with. It was and I wanted mom to have the same <laughs> quality shoe under her foot to is go out with the next morning. It's terrible, isn't it? M mom, you have just messed with his head so much with <laughs> when it comes to shopping. He can't even do something simple like buy running shoes. I know. It's so weird. It's so weird. So sorry I was thinking about you that day. <laughs> I feel Look real it. bad. We've even dragged somebody out of the woodwork that's never posted before. Uh -huh. Just posted. Said what? Shani Conroy. Oh, Sam. Those are something I'd expect my 14-year-old niece to get. <laughs> yep. <laughs> well, they're going back to the store tonight right after Sam, their live Sam, cast. The shiny Sam. red. Lynn. In your defense, yeah. most running shoes are butt ugly. Mm. Have you, so here's what Most. I thought. You know, I see people when we're out there that have like those bright neon things these days, mm -hmm. the bright green and the bright orange. And I thought, well, that's an extreme shoe. I wouldn't wear that. <laughs> At least this has got some black in it, a little bit of red. It's not that bad. And the rest of the colors that I normally have on are muted. There's nothing I will have black and gray and whatever. I thought it would go perfectly. Uh, bright red, hot pink, no, whatever. Here's the thing, though. It's <laughs> all good. Mom says, get me something plain. And I go, I don't know if they have it plain, Kel. <laughs> but I really want, I'm telling you how much I enjoy. It was all about the quality and so the comfort. And the way. Where, where, did you get, where did you get those shoes from? Sports Chalet. No, no. Do you go, go to like Roadrunner or something where mm. they have a liberal return policy. And all they do is fit you. Right. shoes. Because like if that really is the shoe that fits your foot and like the one you fall in love with. Yeah. Forget the color, dude. Forget what Kelly says. Wear the shoes. That's what I well, say. Kind of. That's where I was going with the whole thing, and but <laughs> I just got blown up by somebody that doesn't even know me. <laughs> Sammy, Took me to task for this. We don't have very to have light. matching shoes. To I didn't want them to be matching. <laughs> the The point it was not to have them matching, and actually they're not matching because yours are pink and mine's red. <laughs> I have black. You have gray. The same You're not going to get the match. same shorts as me, are you? No, I'm not wearing the same shorts. Oh, man. <laughs> Can we please get a picture of the outfit you guys go No, 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 no. There's no outfit. We're, <laughs> we're not doing it. He didn't That's go that tomorrow far. night. Okay, let me check my corn. And, yes. uh, and then I want to go make it. I want to get the rest of the pieces ready. I think it's almost getting there. Hey, we're ready. Should we run the intro or should we grab the corn first? Uh, let me just check this once more. Hold on. All righty, do it. I think you're popping that puppy sedatives, Max. <laughs> I do. Was he difficult to get out of the bush? Yeah. Do you know what I'm talking about? Oh, he loves to climb under bushes. He yeah. went right in the middle of that like yeah. tangle bush. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, are these going to be okay here, Lynn? Yeah, sure. Okay. All right. It's time to cook. Roll the intro. Let's do this. All right. going to be right here, Lynn. Boom. Let's do fun. it. Let's go. Wow. I just had another bite of this corn. I'm telling you, it is so good. You have to do that little thing because it totally worked. I mean, I'm sure everybody has their own system, right? Wait, I have a quick question for mom. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do they, back to the wait, shoes? do they really have puppy sedatives? <laughs> because I want to get some. No, no they don't. <laughs> That'd be really helpful. No. I could be, I could give him one at like six in the morning. No. <laughs> then I could sleep in a little bit. I'm gonna call CPS on you. B BCS. CPS. Oh. BPS. Beagle Protective, Beagle Protective Services. Services. <laughs> All right. So here's here's what this needs. Here are the components. It needs the mayo that is coming out of my fridge. Not out of a container that's been on the street a long time. Mayo, okay? 
It needs chili powder, a little bit right here. I'll put some in a little dish so I can get my fingers and do that with it. Because if I try and make it come out of this, it's going to be way too much. It needs uh, the queso fresco. Uh, cotija cheese. Cotija cheese is, is this, this part skim milk cheese that's super delicious. It's a little, um, it's a little um, sort of Parmesan-ish, just mm -hmm. a tiny bit. But here's what we want to do with this, and I hope I can get it. As it's definitely a different type of cheese. Watch. So you want it crumbly. This is what you want. You see what it's doing here? Oh, it dropped right there. But you need it pretty fine, and I'll show you why. Uh, it's got a nice little uh, level of salt to it, which is going to help all of this really well. But it's got to be super crumbled up. I mean, you could probably do it like in a little processor. Clearly, it's not necessary. You see how it's falling apart here. But try and get the big chunks out, because those are not going to be useful to you. Mm. And while I'm doing this, let me just talk about Fixers Living. We adore them. Fixers Living in San Diego on Dowdy Street off of Miramar Road. Fixers Living in Costa Mesa. They are the best store. Kitchen, bath, outdoor. And they add joy at the end of that. They say kitchen, bath, outdoor, joy. And they mean it. They don't fuck around with how they deal with people and products and they just know what they're doing. If you're trying to figure out where to go, forget about buying, you just want to look at appliances and kitchen stuff and bath stuff, that's the place to go. How about that kitchen sink, or the bathroom sink, I'm sorry. Remember that I sink. saw that had the, uh, it was like antique brooches all over it? No. Yeah. You found Absolutely something. beautiful. For I like thought I knew that store pretty well. How did you find something? For like a powder room, Guest bathroom sink. It was all these antique brooches all over it. I don't beautiful. know what you're talking about. I do. All right. Maria does. Maria does. Maria always knows. Okay. But go see them. And they're about to get way bigger in San Diego. And they can't talk about that yet. And I know a little bit. And I'm just telling you, just wait and see what happens. Because it will blow your mind. Here at first. The store. Here at first on the same laptop. Does it have anything to do with what? The commercial they're filming right now. No, I can't wait to see those commercials. Because I saw one of the girls in the commercial. <laughs> I didn't say that. <laughs> All right, so this, 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 a little lime juice. Look, we got one of these little key limes left, Kelly. Oh, yeah. Where from? Specialty? Uh, no. Mom bought these um, at the market the other day. Oh, but they have the seeds. That's so, you know, it's interesting to me how some limes have seeds and some don't. Why can't they? Mm -hmm genetically engineer out the seeds in a, in a key lime. <laughs> that was an old Jerry Seinfeld stand-up. The, the scientist who works on genetically engineering seedless watermelon versus yeah. the guy who does cancer research. That's right. It's exactly <laughs> right. That's what he's decided to dedicate his life to. <laughs> yeah. All right. So these guys are looking good. Let me just take one. Oh, they look perfect. That's perfect, right? Yeah. Look at this baby. Oh, yeah. Look at all the way around. Just a nice little level of color. And as I say, the black spots in this are what make this thing extra, extra good. It's like a steak, right? A steak without the charred bits doesn't have nearly the flavor that one with does. So I'm using a chopstick because I couldn't find... Couldn't find my uh, my uh, uh, other little poker things. <laughs> so here's what we're gonna do. <laughs> what? <laughs> Your little pecker? Is that what you said? Let's say that. <laughs> I think I heard little pecker. Why do you have to be dirty like that? <laughs> okay, so you're painting like on the mail. Years old. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Max, for bringing us back to not stupidity. So the mail goes on. Beautiful like this. 
Just to get a decent layer all the way around. Oh, and now the chili powder. And you don't want to, I mean, the chili powders, you know, you don't want too much. Just a nice little, a nice little covering of this all right here, right? And then you roll it in this cheese. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Oh, wow. Wait, I can't tell you what this is going to be like. You know what? We're doing a thing at Fixtures Living coming up. I'll be there on uh, Friday, one of their Fixtures Fridays. And we've been trying to think about what to do. I think I'm going to do this. You have to do that. I'm going to do small versions of these half ones. But it's unbelievable how good this is. And the last thing that it gets is just a little bit of lime juice without that seed. Just for a little extra bite, right? And now just let me bring this. Lynn, can you see that beautiful looking thing right there? Oh, yeah. Look at that. But the proof, I don't know if you can see the steam. The proof is what they say is in the eating, and that would be this part right here. <laughs> oh, something like that right there. That would not oh, yeah. be becoming. Honey, well, a little cotija on your face. face. <laughs> it's corn and cheese. What am I supposed to do? Oh, my God. Messy, but good. Perfectly cooked. Still a little bite to the corn. You get the lime juice right at the top of this thing because it was the last thing that went on it. Little chili powder in there. And then the cheese. You're not even tasting mayo. You're just tasting delicious richness. Oh, God. Sam, <laughs> stop it. Wipe your face. That's so embarrassing. Don't. What's the problem? Sammy, stop it. Okay, Max, Lynn, oh can you take the camera, please? <laughs> no, it's bad. Okay. It's really bad. So embarrassing. Can I just tell you something? Wait, one more before, before I clean. <laughs> that was two. Yeah. Okay, if you don't make this, you're a fool. It's some of the best corn I've ever had. And corn is out there right now. En masse, it's the time. Don't do the same thing. Yes, the butter was delicious, but do this. This is what you need to be doing. All right. That's us for that's us that's us for tonight. What other live cooking is there on television? There isn't. There's none of this. Well, there was Aretha Franklin on the Today Show last week, but <laughs> really, no, that's not what we're talking about. Nobody does this. All right, thanks for being here. We'll be back Wednesday night. More fun. Don't know what we're gonna cook yet. I'll know Wednesday afternoon. If you have a suggestion, just send it. We could do Viewer Week. We did that once before. We'll do it again. Thanks for hanging out with us. We really appreciate it. Uh, share about us on Facebook. Tell your friends, and we'll see you here Wednesday night. Thanks a lot.